Let's return now to national affairs and joining me is the manager of opposition business, Paul Fletcher. Uh, let's start with the Middle East, a huge uh, crisis right now unfolding in Lebanon with Hezbollah under fire from Israel. Calls at the United Nations led by the United States for a ceasefire. What's your read on it? Well, let's be clear that Israel has been under attack from Hezbollah for many months hundreds of rockets being launched, thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes. And Israel, as every nation, has a right to self-defense. That's a very important principle. Uh, of course, um, it, w we all want to see peace, but when Israel is faced with this continuing aggression, uh, then it needs to, or it, 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 Israel has a right to take actions in self-defense. That's a very important principle. The White House calling for a 21-day ceasefire. Uh, is there any scenario where you would see Netanyahu agreeing to that as he's trying to put pressure and push Hezbollah back? Look, I'm not going to engage in uh, speculation about the particular pathway forward that may be taken by Israel or by any other uh, participant or any other stakeholder. But what I will say is Israel has been under attack from Hezbollah with hundreds of rockets being launched, people uh, in that part of Israel being forced to leave their homes. And just as we saw with the terrorist attack uh, in October last year, where some 1,200 Israelis were killed, hundreds taken hostage, taken into Gaza. Um, this uh, aggression against Israel is uh, a critical factor in the actions that Israel has chosen to take to defend its citizens. Back home now, and the Prime Minister says uh, the public service is simply doing its job when it comes to looking at negative gearing. Do you buy that? Labor's up to its old tricks. We know that under Bill Shorten, uh, they were promising to abolish negative gearing. Now we're seeing that the Albanese Labor government has sought advice from Treasury on abolishing negative gearing. The Prime Minister and the Treasurer are refusing to clearly deny it. We're seeing some of the same language we saw when for weeks they refused to give a clear position on breaking their promise in relation to the Stage 3 tax cuts. They then went, went ahead and did break their promise and experienced observers of the Albanese Labor government would see a very similar pattern. Now let's be clear, negative gearing is used by over two million Australians, uh, people who own an investment property and are making a loss on it and they're able to deduct that loss. As a consequence, that's lots of houses that are in the marketplace available for people to rent. And so this attack on mm. negative gearing, which Labor is clearly gearing up for, is bad news for all of those Australian families who are working hard to get ahead. And well, they say it's not their policy. Uh, well, experienced observers of the Albanese Labor government and of Labor would be very sceptical of that claim when we see the pattern here. We've seen this pattern before and we know that at two previous okay. elections, Labor had a clear objective to abolish negative gearing and uh, all the signs are there that they're onto the same thing again. Paul Fletcher, thank you. Appreciate it. The outgoing US